Winona State quarterback Jack Nelson is now atop the Warriors record book in career passing yardage. Second quarter, Winona State down 21-7. Upper Iowa's Dimitri Morales to Jared Ed Edmonds. Peacocks up big, 28-7. Just before the half, Paul Preston punches it in. One yard out, so it's a one-score game at the break. Third quarter, Preston again. He's in for the second time, seven-point contest. But too much Morales this afternoon. Peacock throws for 378, his third score of the game right here. The Warriors are three and four in conference. WIA football selection Saturday. The brackets are out. Let's find out where your team is playing in level one. A reminder, all of these times are kicking off 7 p.m. on Friday. In Division two, the Toma Timberwolves are back in the playoffs for the first time since 2012. Drawn top-seeded Wana Key. Co-MVC champs Holman get a four and host a forest. Another home game there for Steve King. Division three, the Panthers of West Salem, winners of their last four to get into the postseason, travel to Mount Hora, Barneveld, and then Onalaska sneaks in. The Hilltoppers are six. They play Reedsburg. The winner of that contest will meet the winner of Edgewood or Logan. The Co-MVC champ Rangers draw two. That takes us to Division four. GET travels to Northwestern. Fellow Cooley mates Black River Falls host Tomahawk. And Mostyn books a trip to number one Berlin. Where does Arcadia fall after an unbeaten regular season? The Raiders are a top seed and host Ladysmith. Co-SWC champ Prairie de Sheen hosts Waterloo. Westby wins last night and is in. The reward, a home game against defending state champ Lancaster. Division six, Kickapoo Lafarge at top seeded Pecatonica Argyle. Whitehall, a five at Iowa Grant. Cochran Fountain City against Coke Dairyland Chet Melrose Menduro and Brookwood pairs with Marcuson. The top ranked team in all Division 7, Pep and Alma gets Flambeau and Bangor right there also with a one seed. If all goes to plan, both of those teams can be in your state championship game at Camp Randall. See the full brackets, visit news8000.com. UW Lacrosse Women's Cross Country on the course this afternoon. Search of back-to-back -back Neubauer invite titles. Big field including some gophers. Liam Papini of Central Iowa first across. 2108 Cornell College's Abra Masterston second. Top UWL finisher sophomore Caitlin McDaniel sixth at 2203. Teammate Elizabeth Fricht right behind in seventh. And senior Natalie Powell in eighth. That pack good enough to seal first and easily the ninth Neubauer in program history. Well, we're all just so pumped for championship season. This was our last race as a full team together, so we're so excited to move forward from here. Well, we're very confident. We're ready to take on championship season and go out there and kill it. On the men's side of things, University of Minnesota's Eric Colvin, the individual champ, 24-42. St. Olaf's Jake Campbell, second. Top UWL finisher, sophomore Austin Zakowicz. He's 7, 2506. Also in the top 10, Tom Liner. UWL fourth, a solid tune up for the championship season. I'm really happy about it. I was out for a little bit of last week because of a sprain in my ankle. Um, I'm just happy to be out with my boys again running, and I'm excited for uh, this championship season to start. Cooley runners also race in conference meet. Who else on the girls' side? GET freshman Dana Fay in first. Sophomore Elena Schmidt and Westby, though, keep the team mojo going. She kept both shoes on today and route to the Cooley team title. Boys race Spencer Off Offdahl of Westby first, and the team crown as close as they come. Viroqua over Westby by one. The Blackhawks place five runners in the top 16 to take the Cooley crown. Service UWL volleyball invite. The Eagles 2-1 and one for the weekend, entering the finale against Dickinson State early in the game. Defense. Stephanie Hank, the block, the point. Five nothing Eagles later. Sneaky play here, front of the net. Sydney Bump, well done, 2019. Eagles in the lead and later. A great save by Bump, turns into a perfect set. And Hank winds up and winds down. Eagles take game one, take the match in five. They're 16 and eight overall. Hockey scores, chill, dumped tonight by Janesville. And Wisconsin is shut out for the second straight night. 